Hey guys, Steve here from DudeHack.com. Today we're going to be running through the six best dating apps for people aged 40 and over. So look, dating in your 40s can be a minefield and trying to navigate and find the best dating app for you is easier said than done. So we're gonna be going through six of the best dating apps today that would suit a few different types of daters within that 40 plus age group. But first, just a quick reminder guys, my name is Steve, I'm the owner of DudeHack.com, which is a website covering everything online dating. So if you were interested in online dating, go and check that out. And if you are thinking of trying any of these dating apps at any point throughout this video, I've added in some free trial links down below so you can go and check them out for yourself. Also, if by the end of this video, for whatever reason, you're not sure if any of these apps are gonna be right for you, I suggest you head on over to dudehack.com and take the free personality dating quiz, which will tell you exactly what dating app would suit you best. I've added a link to the quiz just down in the description below. So make sure right after this video, you do go and take that quiz. But you are here today to find out about the six best dating apps for 40s and above. So let's jump into that right now. Now, just before we do get into that, I do just want to say, if you're feeling a little bit lost, if you're feeling a little bit unsure about the whole online dating thing, that's very, very normal. It would be weird if you weren't. If you have gone your whole life dating in one way and all of a sudden the rug is pulled out underneath you and things have changed, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. That's why having some hand-holding can actually help. But with that being said, online dating shouldn't be this big scary thing. We wanna have fun, we wanna meet new people, so just keep that in mind at all times. And also at this point, you might be wondering why would you listen to you know little old me, who's obviously not in their 40s, I am in my 30s. Why would you listen to me? Look, I'm the owner of dudehack.com. I've been doing this for a while. I've helped out many people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, so just keep that in mind as well. But without any further ado, here is the six best dating apps for people aged 40 and above. Number one, eHarmony. Now, I definitely had to put eHarmony as the number one position here for a number of reasons. In my opinion, eHarmony is the best platform full stop out there for anybody to find something a bit more serious. It puts the focus primarily on compatibility over anything. So it's not just going to be like a slot machine of profiles like an app like Tinder. eHarmony has been going for a very, very long time, spanning well over 20 years, and it has many, many stats to back up its success. Look, I could go blue in the face and tell you all those stats, but the one that stands out to me the most is that 4% of existing marriages in the US today started from eHarmony. That is crazy. So basically what I'm getting at is it works. It works for people that are looking for someone compatible and long-term and well, serious. The way that the site works is you will take a personality quiz upon starting that is free to get started on. So go and click on the free trial link down below if you wanna take the quiz after this. But you'll complete the quiz and then after that, you will be matched with other people based on the compatibility components in your test. Basically what I'm getting at is your personality test will then go out and find somebody else with a very, very compatible personality and match you two together. Now I do definitely suggest eHarmony as the number one position here on this list, mainly because most of its users are on that 40 plus demographic anyway, but just the fact that it is, in my opinion, one of the most successful, if not the most successful dating app ever, I have put it at number one. The site does have millions of users all around the world. Just keep in mind that link down below is primarily for the US. It does unfortunately cost money. It is one of those sites that is a sort of pay to play type thing. You can by all means though, get on there for free, do your questionnaire and check out other profiles. I probably just suggest you do that anyway, just to get a bit of a feel for it, just to find out if it is definitely for you before spending any money. Now the memberships aren't cheap. They are fairly substantial. They do start from three months all the way up to 24 months. If you do opt for the 24 month option, you are going to get a big discount on your monthly price. But one thing to keep in mind is eHarmony does constantly have free trial weekends or heavy discounts. What I have seen on that link specifically down below is a lot of the time when people do go through that link and complete their questionnaire, they are offered a 50% discount. Now take that with a 
a grain of salt, it doesn't seem that that happens every single time. But what I suggest is go through that link down below, take the questionnaire, and then see if you are offered a discount, or at the very least, just the cost in your area at this current time. But at the end of the day, what you are paying for when it does come to eHarmony is its track record for its algorithm matching compatible people. And showing that compatibility is your top priority for matching users has obviously worked. And that's why eHarmony is in my number one position. Number two, Elite Singles. Now, Elite Singles is all about the affluent, the educated, or the successful. Now look, there is no specific criteria exactly for you to go ahead and join Elite Singles, but it does seem that they are putting the focus really on people with college degrees, highly successful jobs, or earning a decent income. That's quite obvious with 80% of its user base having a bachelor's degree or higher. Also, you can just see by looking at people's profiles with their jobs listed and whatnot that the focus is definitely put on that. Now, the reason I've suggested Elite Singles here, besides the fact that it is just a really good dating site and has matched many people before, is its age of users. Elite Singles does tend to skew a little bit older than a lot of dating sites and apps out there. That is quite obvious with by far the majority of its users being over 30 years old. In my opinion, Elite Singles is perfect for somebody that does want to meet somebody else that is in a sort of similar standing or similar background to them. What I mean by that is there is plenty of data out there to show that people with similar backgrounds kind of tend to drift towards each other anyway. So it's sort of cutting to the chase. Going even further than that, if you're somebody who takes your career very seriously and you want somebody who shares the same values, it's the perfect place for it. If you are somebody that does earn a really good income yearly and you don't want any gold diggers or people after your money, again, this might be the perfect place for it. It's really, again, for affluent, successful, and driven people to find other like-minded people. Now, Elite Singles also isn't cheap. It is a fairly hefty amount to get started, as you can imagine with the nature of having affluent people on the site. You can get started on as little as three months all the way up to 12 months, which will cost a little bit less as you go up. But just keep in mind, you can also just use the free version. You will be pretty restricted though when it does come to actually messaging and whatnot. But again, just like eHarmony, I think it's a great way to check out the platform, see what it's like before you go and spend some money. But at the very least, if you do click on that link below, you can go and check out the current costs in your area. Number three, silver singles. Now, before you exit out of this video in a huff saying, well, I'm not a silver single, just hear me out. Now, I feel that silver singles could go through a little bit of a rebrand there because a lot of people in their 50s don't want to be called silver. And you heard me right. Yes, this app is dedicated solely to people 50 and above. So if you're in your 40 to 50s sort of age range, unfortunately, this doesn't apply for you. Although you can join up if you maybe have a thing for older people. But at the end of the day, the way that you should view Silver Singles is just being a primarily 50 plus dating app. That's it. And look, there's not too much point of difference with Silver Singles compared to the previous two I've just spoken about. It also uses a personality test to get started. But I had to add this in here because out of everything on this list, it is the only one that is purely dedicated towards a certain age group. So regardless of what you are looking for, if you are 50 plus, I do think it is a great platform. eHarmony is also a great platform for 50 plus, but it is really relationship focused. So if you're a little bit open, you wanna date, things like that, maybe Silver Singles will be the better option for you. Again, it's not cheap. It is from the same creator as Elite Singles, so your prices are gonna be similar for that as well. They're gonna be set up the same as well. You can go three months, six months, or 12 months. The more you get, the cheaper it gets. Go ahead and click on the link below to check the prices in your area today. Number four, Adult Friend Finder. Now, Adult Friend Finder is pretty much the same age as me, almost. It was created in 1996, so I am a little bit older, but what I'm getting at is this site has a track record. Now, if you've never heard of Adult Friend Finder before, essentially it is the world's biggest sex positive dating site, which means it helps connect singles, partners, couples, groups to have online or in-person fun. So whether you're single, you're in a couple, or you wanna get involved in a group, regardless of what your kinks are or your fantasies, Adult Friend Finder is literally the place for all of that. 
If you've got something that's a little bit left of center, you've got some kinks that you want to explore, this is the place that you can sort of bear or put on your profile what you're into and you can rest assured that everybody else on there as well is going to be welcoming and open to it. Now, if you went on eHarmony and tried to do that, you would probably be banned and nobody would really want to match with you. So if you are somebody that falls into that category of not wanting to find something serious, you're just looking for some casual fun, which at the end of the day, it's 2021, you do you, then what I suggest is Adult Friend Finder. Again, it is one of those dating apps that does skew a little bit older with the majority of its demographic being 40 over. So in terms of finding something that is casual or a hookup or a one night stand, if you are 40 plus, in my opinion, Adult Friend Finder is the best place to do it. Now, when it comes to the cost of Adult Friend Finder, it is far cheaper than a lot of the other sites on this list. And I find that's because it's not as much relationship focused, but you're looking at around about 20, 25, $30 based on your location and how many months that you opt for on a membership. It is unfortunately one of those sites, again, where you have to pay to play. So if you wanna message people without any restrictions, you are gonna to have to pay but you do get a lot of really cool features as well for free. You can check out user blogs, go and look at all the profiles you want and get involved in the top fan program, which again is all free. If you wanna find out a little bit more, check out my video up above. Number five, Hinge. Now I wanted to include Hinge on this list because in my opinion, it is just the next natural step off dating apps like Tinder or Bumble. What I really mean by that is you might have used some of these dating apps and just felt really out of place or being swarmed by 18 year olds and you think, I do not want to get involved with anything like that ever again. Well, Hinge, like I said, is just a bit of a step above. The age demographic of Hinge is a tad older than say Bumble and Tinder. So if you are somebody that's maybe just hit 40, you've been using those apps like Tinder, like Bumble, and you're thinking, I'm starting to feel a little bit out of place. I'd like to see something else, but I still want that sort of casual, open type app that everybody uses. Guys, Hinge will be your best friend. I like to look at it as Tinder's woke sister. Now keep in mind, if you've used Tinder or Bumble before, it is very, very similar in nature. It is a location-based app where you do express if you like a profile or not, so you are swiping. But it is definitely a step above Tinder and Bumble. Now, Hinge is pretty much the only dating app on this list that you could fully get away with using completely free. That's how I use it. It does have paid memberships called its Hinge Preferred Membership, which just unlocks a few different extra features like seeing everybody who has liked you already. But in my opinion, it's probably not even worth it and you can get quite a lot out of it without spending a cent. If you do wanna go over those costs and basically everything Hinge, go ahead and watch my video on how Hinge works above. And last but not least, number six, Match. Now, Match is another veteran dating site that was started in 1995. It has a massive user base. In my opinion, it is that perfect sort of middle ground for dating and something a little more casual. So really, regardless of what you're looking for, I think it's a pretty good platform. It does seem to be a little bit less sort of pinpointed than a lot of these other dating apps in that there is a much larger user base of all different demographics. But I do find that 40 plus age group is quite prevalent. Now there's not much differences comparing Match to other dating apps out there. Probably the biggest one is you can have 26 photos on your profile compared to say like just five or 10. But at the end of the day, it is a pretty stock standard, massive dating site with lots and lots of users. So if you're somebody who is 40 plus and you're more looking to just jump on a platform with a bunch of different people, talk to people from all different backgrounds and wanting different things, then this is probably for you. If you're not entirely sure what you want, check it out. Match is a little bit cheaper than some of the other dating apps on this list as well, ranging from a three month membership all the way up to a 12 month membership. Now look, when you do compare it to a dating app like eHarmony, it is a bit cheaper, but at the end of the day, in my opinion, a dating app like eHarmony is probably a bit better because you can imagine anyone paying that money is taking it very, very seriously. But with that being said, I did want to include Match on this list just because it does have a pretty good chunk of 40 plus users. Now remember, at this point, go down in the description below and click on what app you have liked best, or if anything, 
try them all. Get on one, some, or all of these dating apps and see if the free versions for you have a bit of a look around. And if you like it, if you've seen some profiles that catch your eye, then decide to upgrade. But at the end of the day, guys, these are, in my opinion, from what I've seen, from what I've researched, from what my clients have seen, the best dating apps for people 40 and above. But those aren't the only dating apps out there. There is more. So if you're not entirely sure if any of these dating apps are going to be right for you, then go and take the free quiz over at dudehack.com, which will tell you exactly what dating app would suit you best. I'll put a link in the description to that as well, so you can go and take that quiz right now. If you have enjoyed today's video and you found maybe a new app that you're excited to use, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments and would really appreciate a thumbs up and even a subscribe if you're feeling it. But until tomorrow's video, guys, stay safe, be well, and I will see you later.